Okay, so my name is Rich Doherty with NewFit. This is our machine here, the NUBI. Stands for Neuro Bioelectric. We're here today with John. We do something a little different. We're going to train some buys and tries with our technology here. Um, basically, what we're doing here is we're um, we're using DC current electrical stimulation. This machine mimics eccentric and concentric contraction inside the body, and uh, we're going to hijack his nervous system and force his muscles to work at a much higher level. So stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do first is we're going to lengthen out your muscles. I'm going to fire your bicep and your tricep with 500 pulses per second of signal that mimics your brain's signal through your nervous system. At about 40 beats per second, your muscle can no longer contract, so the tissue starts to pull apart. So essentially when you're warming up, you're trying to create signal. Just, uh, smaller wraps, please. Uh, when you're warming up, trying to create signal, we're just going to move through your signal amplified, your brain signal amplified 250 times. So your nervous system is going to be warmed up real quick and you're going to be ready to rock. So the easy way, I guess, to think about this is everybody talks about uh, their nervous system and the communication between your brain and your muscles. This improves that, that pathway. So that's kind of, I guess, that's the easiest way to break it down is that whole connection from your brain. Mind-muscle connection, for lack of better, yeah. you know, phrase. And we all know what that is and how important that is. So this is going to make you be able to access every muscle fiber at its max capacity. Whatever you walked in with the door with today, we're going to access that. Noah, did you bring your uh, measuring tape with you? My bag. Uh oh I... I think we might have to do the measuring. Do you know what they are before? 19 and a half. Okay. There you go. That's after been up all night playing poker. So we'll see if this can overcome the poker fatigue. All right. All right. I'm in. Let's go. You know, about a minute. You feel a little bit now coming on. So you're at 25 now. The machine goes to 100. Yeah, just move through it, you know. Again, light contraction to get everything turned on. Yeah. Triceps. Squeeze them. Yeah, there you go. So we are on 25. 25. Think about your brain sends about two pulses per second. We're sending 25 of the same signal. So now I'm going to flip it to 500. So right now you're, you're getting a contraction effect out of the machine. At 40 beats per second, the muscle can no longer contract and it starts to pull the tissue apart. We're going to 500. Here we go. You should feel your arms literally relax. Moving. So you feel them bouncing around. When the muscle's at length, it starts to bounce around with the current. So think about it, we just took you from a contracted state here to a lengthened state. Now, when he's saying lengthen, that means eccentrically, right? So yes. lengthening the muscle. Yes. So we're gonna go a little bit higher. So if you feel one arm uh, jumping around more than the other, that's to a certain degree a neurological deficiency because we always have constant imbalances in the body. So let me ask you this. <clears throat> if, if I feel one arm bouncing more than the other, is that arm less or more efficient? Less. Less. Okay. So you should be able to move through that current efficiently. What's happening is at 500 pulses per second, your brain's getting the eccentric and concentric contraction, and it's too much movement for your arm to move through. Does that make sense? Yeah, so here's the interesting thing. This right arm is bouncing more than the other one. It's also weaker. Yep. It's also bigger. It's bigger, I've always thought, because it has to work harder. Mm -hmm. Because this one is stronger and it doesn't need to work. So most it's people, missing signal compared to this one. Yeah. In short. Yeah. yeah. But I think people think if one side is bigger now, they automatically assume it's stronger. No. And no. That is absolutely not what I have found. Yep. The muscles had to work harder to get bigger. So we're going to start off with biceps. Okay. So I'm going to change pad placement. So we're all focused completely on biceps. Now the machine fires from black to red. So we were firing from your triceps to your biceps. Now we're going all bicep. Not a whole lot of surface area, but it's a, it creates a pretty intense effect. And now we got a little bit of contraction with a little a slight lengthening effect in the muscle. And as you go, I'm going to turn the machine up. <clears throat> Tell me when. I feel it. When, like how intense? As in, you're, you'll, you'll let me know. You're, you're, your body's going to tell you, hey, that's enough. Pretty good? It's, it's okay. You can turn up.
So I'm obviously contracting your muscle to sending the signal to lengthen the tissue so you can move through that contraction. <clears throat> All right, so now I'm immediately gonna take the machine down in power and I'm gonna lengthen that muscle back out with current so you're actively recovering in between the set, taking the tissue from this to this. Does that make sense? When the muscle lengthens, how's that? When you say it's helping them relax, that's what just by lengthening. Lengthen the the, the so the active myosin cross bridges are unlinked. Yes, yes. Think of it like a piece of Velcro. Yeah. If I've got the Velcro up like this, it's hard for me to pull it apart. I've got it out here, it's easy to pull it apart. So if I keep you in a contracted state, the next set will be less efficient than if I take that tissue back to its original lengthened state. <clears throat> at the same time, the machine is creating an anabolic response at this level, so you're getting work done as we speak right now, even though we're recovering. So you got up pretty high. 68, you know, the machine goes to 100, so obviously, you know. What are you doing? It's pretty. Yeah. 68, are you like in the same area? I go. So you, you adapt, you adapt pretty quickly. So within a month, you'd be at 100. All right, I'm gonna do another one. Here. I'm gonna be 68. What do you wanna do it? Do it on another exercise? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You just gotta, yeah, it's fatigue. It's completely gone. Yeah. 68 is the number to beat. 68. You got it, man. All right, here we go. There's 50. There's 70. 25. 80. I'm good. 85. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Oh. <laughs> what I get? 85. 85. All right. It's pretty juicy. Impressive, that's man. that's impressive. So John just took the machine to 85. Max power is 100. 85 is extremely high for the first time using the machine, and a lot of that has to do with it all attributed to how strong his nervous system has become with the intense training he's put his body through. So if you think about it in terms of uh, strength in the nervous system, the myelin sheath, yours is much stronger than maybe the average Joe that doesn't spend the time you do in the gym. So. And you think that's genetic or a product of Part of it's training? genetic, but a lot of it's training. And the more you train, the more the nervous system uh, develops, the stronger the myelin sheath becomes. This machine can actually increase that drastically, but you've done it with years and years of just pounding that nervous system intensely. So, And again, to grow, you have to create stimulus for the nervous system to grow, so you have to be, it has to be intense. So we're changing the pad placement. Uh, we've got pad placements for the entire body, um, four pad placements, eight pad placements. We can encompass, for example, his entire back from lat to scap to rhomboid uh, with the machine. So the interesting thing is, we don't necessarily need machines to specifically target muscles. We can actually add a pad to it and target that muscle harder and more efficiently than anything else out there. Still good, John? Why am I sweating so much? Man, I'm lighting you up. Because you're working way harder. Way harder than you used to. I can feel that nail in my brachialis. Like, I can actually feel like a, that knot contracting. So we can target muscles that you normally can't target that specifically. I like that. So think about a competitive bodybuilder. If they have a lagging muscle, a rear delt, we pop some pads on it, train for a month. Now those rear delts are no longer a problem. So we did three sets of barbell curls and three sets of hammer curls, and he's completely smoked. So the coolest thing about what you're gonna notice about this machine is next time that you train biceps and triceps, you've reached another level neurologically, and that contraction that you've reached now, you'll be able to attain that same contraction, if not more, control of the muscle the next time you use it, because you've adapted. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, All right, so we're gonna go again.
That's 70. It's getting pretty juicy. We had 100 on this one, man. There's 80. I'm good. 85. I'm good. Big jump from 90 to 100. Here we go. And 100 right there. That's all the way. And it's still going. Yeah, he adapted. Yeah, he's. It's easier now once I got the yep. That's going to be sore. That's going to be You adapted intraset, and we were able to take machine to the max, you know, that we, we can go. So, again, that's not the average human being. So. Seventy-five. Eighty. So again there, um, as I saw him fatigue, I turned the current down so that he could get a few more reps. I'm not the, the most expert measurer, so I want to, you had the original measure. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's past 20. We're going to go with 20 and a half, maybe. Can you get the peak? Yeah. 20 and a little bit more than 20 and a half. So we're done here training with John. What did you think? Man, I'm on fire. It's good stuff. A lot of blood. So new fit, neurologically fitness neurological fitness uh new fit rfp on instagram um follow us check us out got some good stuff